Yeah? I'd like to pay for my groceries. Do you want paper or plastic? I'll take paper, please. Well, we're all out of paper, so all we have is plastic. That'll work. You know, you should really bring your own bags when you shop because plastic bags make cow farts and they aren't good for the environment. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't have this green thing back in my day. Your generation didn't care enough to save our environment for future generations. You're right. Our generation didn't have the green thing. Back then, we returned milk bottles, soda bottles, and beer bottles to the store. The store sent them back to the plant to be washed and sterilized and refilled so they could use the same bottles over and over. So they really were recycled. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? But we didn't have the green thing back in our day. Grocery stores bagged our groceries in brown paper bags that we reused for numerous things. Most memorable, besides household garbage bags, was the use of brown paper bags as book covers for our school books. This was to ensure that our books that the schools provided for us were not defaced by our scribblings. But too bad we didn't do the green thing back then. <laughs> we walked upstairs because we didn't have an escalator in every store and office building. We walked to the grocery store and didn't climb into a 300 horsepower machine every time we had to go two blocks. <laughs> but you're right, we didn't have the green thing in our day. Back then we washed babies' diapers because we didn't have the throwaway kind. We dried clothes on a line, not in an energy goblin machine burning up 220 volts. <laughs> Wind and solar power really did dry our clothes back in our early days. <laughs> Kids got hand-me-down clothes from their brothers or sisters. Not always new clothes either. <laughs> but young lady, you're right. We didn't have the green thing back in our day. <laughs> back then we had one TV or a radio in the house. Not a TV in every room. And the TV had a small screen the size of a handkerchief. Not a screen the size of the state of Montana. <laughs> in the kitchen, we blended and stirred by hand because we didn't have electric machines to do everything for us. When we packaged a fragile item to send in the mail, we used wadded up old newspapers to cushion it, not styrofoam or plastic bubble wrap. <laughs> Back then, we didn't fire up an engine and burn gasoline just to cut the lawn. We used a push mower that ran on human power. We exercised by working, so we didn't need to go to a health club to run on treadmills that operate on electricity. <laughs> but you're right, we didn't have the green thing back then. <laughs> we drank from a fountain when we were thirsty, instead of using a cup or a plastic bottle every time we had to have a drink of water. We refilled writing pens with ink instead of buying a new pen. And we replaced the razor blade in a razor instead of throwing away the whole razor just because the blade got dull. <laughs> But we didn't have the green thing back then. Back then, people took the streetcar or a bus and kids rode their bikes to school. Or they walked instead of turning their moms into a 24-hour taxi service in the family's $45,000 SUV or van. <laughs> Which cost what a whole house did before the green thing came around. We had one electrical outlet in the room. Not an entire bank of sockets to power a dozen appliances. <laughs> and we didn't need a computerized gadget to receive a signal beam from satellites 23,000 miles out in space in order to find the nearest gas station. Isn't it sad that your generation blames our generation for how, how wasteful we old you? folks used to be just because we didn't have the green thing back then? Have a nice day. The f*** was he talking about?